Hey guys, so welcome to today's video. Guys, in today's video, I want to share with you 12 of my favorite almond note fragrances. Yes, you guys know how I'm always saying, oh, it's the almond note for me. It's the almond note. Yes to the almond note. Well, I want to feature 12 of them in today's video. So if you're interested in a little nutty, toasted, roasted, almondy type of fragrance, then just continue to watch. Guys, before we get started with the video, please make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Make sure that red button turns gray. Tap that notification bell so you don't miss any of my uploads. Thumbs up the video so I know you love my content. And finally, leave me a comment below so we can get to know each other. Now, let's get started with the video. Okay guys, so if you're a regular watcher of this channel, you know that it's always the Almond Note for me. <laughs> for myself, for I, for moi, whatever you want to call it I love the almond note so you guys have been telling me about some almond note fragrances as well so I'm assuming that you guys like the almond note too so I just wanted to bring these 12 fragrances to you for me the almond note can make or break a fragrance like if it has that almondy nuttiness to the fragrance even if it's not almond but there's heliotrope that also adds like an almondy type of nuance to the scent it makes a world of a difference for me in some fragrances what can just be like a floral you know, woody fragrance, but they add that almond note into it. They just sprinkle it in there and it's just like, wow. What a yummy gourmand perfume-like fragrance, but still snackable. You know what I mean? Like you still smell like a snack with these type of fragrances. And for me guys, you know, I love a gourmand fragrance, but I don't want to smell too fruity. But if you add that right touch to it, it makes the world of a difference. And for me, it's the almond note. So let's start with the first fragrance. So the first fragrance on the list is by Tiziana Terenzi and it is Borea. This is like a coconutty, almondy type of fragrance. Guys, this fragrance can be worn winter, spring, summer, and fall. It's so beautiful. Now, a lot of you guys that don't like the Tiziana Terenzi DNA because you feel like it's too resinous for you, I'm telling you that you're not gonna get that with Borea. This is so pretty. It actually kind of gives me remnants of Hypnotic Poison by Dior. Um, you really don't smell the coconut that much. The coconut just adds a little bit of creaminess. This is the almond. Like, this is seriously all about the almond and the florals. And it is so beautiful. Let me tell you the notes. It opens up with coconut, and then there's almond, there's pear, there's plum, there's tuberose, there's freesia, there's jasmine, rose, vanilla, musk sandalwood and oak moss guys it's a really pretty scent this fragrance can be worn in the winter spring summer and fall don't let that coconut note fool you it's not a sun tanny lotiony beachy type of scent at all the coconut just gives it a little bit of nuttiness and creaminess along with that almond guys this is everything if you're interested you can try a sample from soavantgarde.com using my discount code the great 20 and save 20 percent off this fragrance if you want to just jump out the window and buy the fragrance because of how much you trust me or you're just a blind buyer then by all means you can also use a 20 percent on purchasing the full fragrance as well i don't think this is a fragrance that anybody is going to dislike unless you just don't like a nutty almond fragrance it's a beautiful scent guys barea by tiziana terenzi the next fragrance on the list is by dior and this is hypnotic poison guys for me this is a bedtime scent it's a bedtime in the house I'm chilling, I'm showered, I'm enjoying being at home, and I'm smelling so comforted and so nutty and so sexy and sweet and beautiful in my hypnotic poison. You guys, I love this fragrance. Like, I will always have this fragrance in my collection. For me, this is a classic designer gem. Every woman needs this fragrance in their collection. It's just that good. Now, the thing about this fragrance is the performance isn't that great. It's not horrible, horrible, <laughs> but it's really not that great. So I designate this for in the house. If I'm downstairs and I wanna just come up and refresh myself, I give myself a little refresher. I have worn this fragrance outside into the world and i wear it into the world sometimes you know I, I love it but for the most part like when i smell it it just reminds me of home and being home cooking in the kitchen netflixing and chilling and just smelling all types of yummy and gourmand Bay loves this obviously like this is a man pleaser fragrance guys men love this fragrance i've heard other men on youtube jeremy fragrance always calls this fragrance like a man pleaser like a man getter type of fragrance and he's not lying men love this fragrance it's a beautiful scent if you love a nutty almondy type of fragrance you need this in your life 
So let me tell you the notes. It opens up with coconut and there's plum, there's apricot, there's rosewood, jasmine, tuberose, almond, sandalwood, and musk. It's so intoxicating. It's so intriguing. It's so sexy. It's so classic. It's so timeless. It's an amazing fragrance. Hypnotic Poison by Dior. Next up, we have Poison Girl. This is the EDT, also by Dior. I'm like, let me just get the Dior fragrances out the way. Guys, another beautiful home fragrance for me, but I wear this out more than I actually wear the Hypnotic Poison out. And I love this fragrance. This is my running errands type of scent, but I wanna smell good, I wanna smell elevated, I'm probably going to the supermarket, then I'm going to Home Goods, I'm going to Home Sense, I'm going to Michaels, I'm going to wherever I'm going. I love wearing this fragrance, guys. The performance sucks. Like, it's so bad, guys. Like, it's horrible. But I love how this smells. It smells so good. I never decanted this fragrance because this is literally my running around Erin fragrance. So it's not like I'm really reaching in my purse. When I'm leaving the house, I'm spraying it all over my skin. I'm spraying it all over my clothes heavily. And, you know, I'm going out for a few hours, coming back in, and it is what it is. But I love how it smells. It's so florally, but almondy and nutty, and I'm obsessed. So it opens up with bitter orange. There's damask rose. There's rose from grass. There's almond, vanilla, and tonka bean. Guys, another one that I feel like you need in your collection. Definitely a man-getter, man-pleaser type of scent. Hypnotic Poison by Dior. Next up, we have Baccarat Rouge 540, the extra. Guys, let me tell you. I love my Baccarat Rouge original, okay? They purchased that fragrance for me for Valentine's Day and I believe it was 2019 and I love that fragrance, like down to the ground. Now, in 2020, your girl went out and got this one herself. And I must say that the almond note is what captured me. The almond note caught me, hook, line, and sinker, guys. It's Baccarat Rouge, but with almond. Guys, come on now, like seriously, this is everything everything it's so beautiful guys this smells rich this smells like wealth like money it is a common scent it is a common scent but i don't care i love it i love having it in my collection i love looking at the bottle it's so super sexy so super chic i overspray i wear them together i wear this by itself i wear this with spirito fiorentino by tiziana terenzi I, I mean i wear all three of them together at times like this is amazing so it opens up with bitter almond there's saffron there's jasmine there's cedar ambergris musk and then there's woody notes Guys, it's super pricey, like super pricey, but I think it's an investment. I think it's worth it. I think it's worth having. It's the extra. It wears a little bit closer to the skin, but it's still a beautiful, beautiful scent, and I love having it in my collection. And if you love an almond note, you need this in your life, girl. You, you need this. Next on the list is this beautifully sexy, sweet, intoxicating, sensual, everything fragrance, everything except performance and longevity. Lost Cherry, but no tea, no shade. I love her. And to be honest with you guys, I already told you guys, I don't have that much of a problem with this fragrance. Like, if you give me five hours, that's fine. Like, five hours is fine. I wish she would give me a little bit more because she smells so good. But it's okay because I have the travel spray to this fragrance and I definitely refresh myself and I layer, you know, all of the things as well. Because for me, I know a lot of you guys will not spend your money on a fragrance that's not lasting on you for 12 hours, but for me, it's not the case. I am buying a fragrance more for the scent than for the longevity. I don't need you to smell okay and be on my skin for 12 hours. If I think you smell amazing and stellar and you can only stay on me for five hours and I, or I have to work with you, it's fine. Because for me, like I said, the scent is more important than the longevity. But if I can have both, and obviously that's what we're gonna do, but I'm not passing up on this scent because it's not lasting on me forever because she just smells too good. So opens up with cherry, there's cherry liqueur, there's bitter almond, there's cherry syrup, Turkish rose, jasmine, there's roasted tonka bean. You know, guys, I mean, how many times have I spoken about this on the channel? At this point, I should really know the notes by heart. But guys, this is everything. Like seriously, whenever I smell this fragrance, it just does something to me. Like seriously, something runs through my veins. Like it's just an amazing fragrance. And I thank Tom Ford all the time for bringing this fragrance into my life because it is amazing. And if you love a nutty almond, sweet cherry liqueur type of fragrance, listen, try this out. I mean, it may perform different on you because like I said, I'm getting five hours and when I spray it on my clothes, it's there, you know, longer. Um, I mean, it, it may perform differently on you. Some people say they don't even smell it on them. I have no clue. Thank God that's not my experience. And like I said, I don't mind working with the fragrance if I love how it smells because for me, that's most important. 
everything doesn't have to be on you for 12 hours everything is not going to be on you for 10 to 12 hours you know what i mean so lost cherry by tom ford next up by killian we have rolling in love guys last year when i smelled this fragrance it was a hard no for me i think it was because i was spraying a lot of those liquors fragrances by angel by um killian i had angel share on one hand then i had like black phantom on the other hand i was just doing the most in the killian store and when i got to this fragrance i was just like no it's a no for me no 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 like that's how adamant i was that i hated this fragrance I don't know what it was and I ended up in the Killian store again buying something and when I smelled this it was like okay I'm gonna need that one too because I don't know what it was that day guys and did I spray it on my skin I'm not sure if I smelled it on my skin or on a paper all I know is when I smelled it I was not feeling it but now I absolutely love this fragrance it's lactonic it's like that milky almond like very very creamy milky type of almond fragrance it's so beautiful guys i love this fragrance and i'm so happy that i have it oh it smells so good so it opens up with almond milk then there's ambrette there's iris there's freesia tuberose vanilla tonka and musk and to be honest with you i love tuberose but i cannot detect the tuberose too much in this fragrance but i know that killian puts tuberose in like the majority oh, the majority of his fragrances guys it smells so good this is another like rich smelling decadent just smelling this fragrance you smell the quality you smell the great quality ingredients in this fragrance and it smells amazing guys i love this fragrance it's a beautiful gourmand fragrance but that's not too gourmand you know what i mean last year it was a hard no but now it's a hard yes rolling in love by killian Next up by Jo Malone, we have Myrrh and Tonka. One of my four light fragrances, period, guys. I love this fragrance down to the ground. I have the shower oil. I have the body cream. I have the fragrance. Um, I've had the reed diffuser. This is amazing, guys. You need this in your life. Now, I've heard from some of my subscribers that it leans more masculine on them. And I can see that. Although on me, it's just... Oh, it's just a yummy, decadent, like very sophisticated, very sexy fragrance on me. My experience with the performance is that it lasts on my skin. I layer, like I said, like I'm starting this process in the shower. One of my subscribers told me that it doesn't last like any time on her skin and she's not into layering and doing that to make a fragrance last. For me, it's not just about making the fragrance last. It's about the whole entire experience. It's self-care for me. It's being in the shower. It's moisturizing my skin. It's hydrating my body. It's smelling a beautiful scent. It's moisturizing with a beautiful cream that smells decadent and amazing. And then topping off with the fragrance. Guys, I keep telling you, for me, fragrance is an experience. A fragrance is a part of my wardrobe. Like, just like how you have to wear a shoe, like you can't go outside barefoot. For me, I can't go outside without a fragrance. Unless I'm going to the doctor <laughs> or something like that where I cannot wear a fragrance. But for the most part, this is my accessory. And if I'm going outside without a fragrance, for me, like I'm, I'm feeling naked. Like there's something that's missing from me. So it's the whole experience, like I said, from the shower down to the final sprays of my outfit. And I love it. I love the process. It's not time consuming for me sometimes it kind of is time consuming but i allot the time for that because it's a part of the experience it's a part of the self-care and i love and appreciate the fact that i actually do that for myself and i feel like if you guys get into that as well you'll appreciate and love the fragrance experience too because it's more than just like i said spraying on a fragrance and walking out the door and this one right here if you love a nutty fragrance this is beautiful like i said it can be unisex i can see a man wearing this as well um, it opens up with myrrh, this almond, vanilla, and tonka bean, guys. Beautiful fragrance for me. This will always be in my collection. Myrrh and Tonka by Jo Malone. Next up by the House of Siage, we have Cherry Garden. Guys, I don't think I've ever heard anybody speak about this fragrance <laughs> on YouTube. But it's so pretty. Like, seriously, it's such a beautiful fragrance. It's very floral, but it has that almond nuance to it that I absolutely love. It opens up with almond oil, then there's antseed oil, there's rose, there's jasmine, there's heliotrope, and there's musk. It's very playful. It's very fun. It's very floral. And it's a floral fragrance that, for me, I can wear this in the fall. Because I've worn this in the fall. I've worn this in the spring. Like, you can wear this whenever you want to wear it. I wouldn't wear it in the dead of winter when it's super cold. But I absolutely love this fragrance. As you can see... I have a little dent in there 
and I didn't decant this. This is beautiful. I love the bottle. It has the gold cap on it with the silver crystals. I don't know if it will be a repurchase, but I definitely love this fragrance. It has that almond oil and y'all know it's the almond oil for me. Cherry Garden by the House of Siage. Next up on the list by BDK is Velvet Tonka. Guys, let me tell you, I'm definitely going to do a dedicated review on my channel for this fragrance because it smells so good. Guys, I'm obsessed with this scent. Can you see this dent? I don't even talk about this fragrance. But look at the dent that I've made in this fragrance from having this fragrance for it. This fragrance came out um, this year, maybe like two, three months ago. I'm not sure when it came out, but it definitely came out this year, sometime this summer. Guys, I got this from soulofmyguard.com. If you're interested and it's in stock, you can save 20% off. But I suggest this one, guys, because it's so beautiful. It smells so good, guys. BDK has some amazing fragrances. Are they super loud, beast mode fragrances? No. They don't, they're not built that way. You know what I mean? Like these fragrances, people smell you and you live in your scent bubble, but they're not kicking and screaming. They're not like walking through the door, busting through the door, you know, without you. Like they're like, they come along with you. They have a decent performance, decent longevity, decent projection, you know, all that on my skin. I've heard others say different, but my experience has not been that. And let me tell you some of these notes. It opens up with almond, guys. Then there's orange blossom, there's tobacco, there's rose oil, there's tonka, there's bourbon vanilla, there's amber wood, and there's amorous. Guys, this is amazing. This is like a masterpiece type of fragrance to me. I don't really talk about it because there's so many others to get to, but just know that I'm going to do a review on this fragrance. If you're interested, let me know if you want to see a review on this fragrance, but I really plan on doing it because I like spotlighting and highlighting certain amazing fragrances in my collection i just love it especially when people don't talk about them too much and i want like the world to smell like that like you know i want the world to know that this is an amazing scent velvet tonka by bdk next on the list is soul Cheriosa by soul de janeiro guys this fragrance right here is an amazing bedtime scent if you want to go to bed smelling like a snack for your bae this is the one that you wear. When I tell you that this, listen, when you use the shower products, it smells up your entire bathroom. The entire bathroom smells like this and it's so yummy. It smells like a hard candy, like a toffee candy that I've gotten like back in the day in you know like a church bag like from a church sister or something like that this smells so good guys. I love this. Now it doesn't last worth a damn, okay? She don't last that long, but once you layer with the shower gel, like with this, I wouldn't, like I've never ever just like showered with like a dove and then just sprayed this and kept it moving out the door. No, with this, you use the shower gel. And it's not even that, like for, for me, it's not even that I want it to be so beast mode, but the shower products, like this scent is just addictive. I just love this scent. Like anything that they make with this fragrance, I want it. Except for the, the shampoo. Like I wouldn't put that in my hair, but... The body care product this smells amazing. Like I'm addicted to the scent. This is my type of gourmand fragrance, guys. And like I said, for bed or in the house, or if you want to smell like a snack going to bed, like delicious and edible, trust me, he will love this fragrance. <laughs> so it opens up with pistachio, there's almond, then there's heliotrope. So imagine how nutty that opening is, guys. Pistachio, almond, and heliotrope, like it's all nutty, nutty, nutty. And then there's jasmine, there's caramel, there's vanilla, there's salt, and sandalwood. This is a dessert. This is a dessert in a bottle, and trust me, your partner will love you even more for going to bed smelling like this. It's so good, guys. Trust me when I tell you. Soul Sheriosa 62. Next up by Lalique, we have Soleil. Guys, this is one of my favorite bottles in my fragrance collection. This bottle is so classy. It's so classic. It's so chic. It's just so beautiful. I love this bottle, and I also love the juice inside of this bottle as well. Guys, this is a very playful, very feminine, very sweet, very sexy gourmand that also can be worn all year round. I know people that only wear this fragrance or has said that they only wear this fragrance in the summertime or has designated it for the summer. But for me, this is a summer, it's a fall because it's a gourmand fragrance. And for me, when I think of gourmand, I think of fall or, you know, chilly, cold outside because they're comforting, they smell sweet, they smell good and wrapped around that scarf, you know, like it just smells amazing. 
So it opens up with mandarin orange, there's bitter almond, there's cardamom, there's pear, there's candied almonds. So there's two types of almonds in this fragrance, guys. So if it's the almond note for you, you need this as well. There's jasmine, there's caramel, there's milk, there's coffee, there's praline, sandalwood, and white musk. Did you hear the notes? Guys, th like everything, like this fragrance is everything. It's simple. It's not anything that you're going to think is groundbreaking. It just smells really good. It smells pretty. It smells feminine. Um, It doesn't smell like anything that I've ever smelled before. It's definitely not like a generic type of scent, but it's also not a super sexy groundbreaking scent. I love it. It smells feminine. Bay loves it. I'm going to feature this fragrance in a layering video. I have a fall layering video coming up soon. So you guys will see what I layer this fragrance with. And if you're interested, you can save 20% off this fragrance on SoAvantGarde.com using my discount code THEGREAT20 and get this fragrance, guys. Look at this bottle. Like, seriously, you need this on your vanity. You need this in your life. You need this in your collection. It's just a beautiful feminine gourmand fragrance that's sexy and pretty, and you can wear it all year round. Lalique Soleil. Last but not least, we have Marc Jacobs Perfect. You know I had to save the Don Dada of the almond note for the end, right? <laughs> Guys, let me tell you something. When I smelled this fragrance, I literally, like, I was, listen, I was so shocked. I was shocked. I was taken aback. I was all of those things because this fragrance is everything. Now, it's a designer fragrance. It's Marc Jacobs. I haven't worn a Marc Jacobs fragrance in years. But let me tell you, I don't care. <laughs> We don't care. It's so pretty. It's so yummy and delicious and toasted and roasted. It's another fragrance that I want to have forever. Like, I will always have this fragrance. I need a backup bottle soon because this just don't make no sense. It don't make no sense. Like, seriously? Like, the next friends and family or deal sale, something that somebody's having, I'm going to get another bottle of this fragrance because it's everything. And I think I'm going to stick to the small bottle because I just like how cute and chic the small one looks. The big one is kind of chunky and I don't have that kind of room on my little tray for another chunky bottle. So I will be getting the small bottle. Guys, this is a sexy fragrance. Another one that I don't think is a safe flying by because I thought everybody was going to like this fragrance. Clearly they don't because a lot of people say it smells like popcorn or they don't like that sesame seed, that toasted sesame seed scent because it does have like a sesame oil. Like do you guys cook Chinese food at home? Because I do. I love to do like a hibachi at home and I love using sesame oil, which is not cheap. That sesame oil is very pricey, but it does have like a little bit of... I can see somebody saying that it smells like, like sesame seed because it actually does. But it's... I don't know. Like... I, mixed with everything else with the jasmine and the whatever else is in this fragrance it smells amazing to my nose and i love having it and i will always have this in my collection mark jacobs perfect intense okay guys so we've come to the end of the video womp, womp. leave me some comments and let me know what are some fragrances in your collection that feature the almond note and i'm serious guys let me know because although i said that i want to enjoy my fragrances and i'm not really buying any more fragrances if you guys convince me that there's another almond note fragrance that i need in my collection i will possibly get that fragrance because it is always the almond note for me <laughs> so let's talk about it in the comments below like we always do remember to stay safe be great, stay great, and always strive for greatness. AI the Great, signing out, but I'll see you in my next video. Peace.